Well, hello everybody. It's Rose. And I have another package to open. And this one here, there's a bit of a story behind it. So, I ordered this diamond painting um, in a square drill from the Art Back Sticking Embroidery Store on AliExpress um, some time ago. Uh, as you see from the title, it is the Pastel Dragonfly. And um, I have a playlist. I think I have a playlist for the Pastel Dragonfly. Um, because the square one, hmm, I'm not sure this is right. Okay, anyway, because the square one that I first received, uh, it had, oh, there's drills loose in this bag. Um, yeah, because the square one that I first received, uh, the drills were such incredibly bad quality. I had a nightmare drilling that diamond painting. It was, it was, oh my goodness, it was just so, so bad to do. Um, so I got in touch with the company and I told them that I wanted either my money back or a new diamond painting. And what I did was I sent them um, m multiple pictures of the finished canvas, the finished, uh, like the fully drilled diamond painting and just showed them all the problems. And uh, so they agreed to send me a new diamond painting. And I said I wanted it in round. So this is a 30 by 40 round drill of the same diamond painting. So there it is in all its glory. It is a, an absolutely beautiful picture. And the other one did look pretty, but because of the popping drills, like it wasn't, it didn't look as nice as it could. So, um, yeah. So let's open this up. And take a look at this one. So I'm hoping that this company's round drills will be less of a problem. So let's see. I'm not going to spend a long, long time on this. But, uh, oh, they sent it on a foam roller, so that's nice. So here we go. Let's take a look. At the back of the canvas, it's perfect. Okay, I'm very happy with this so far. So let us uh, pull back the paper to flatten it out. And I gotta tell you, I love these diamond paintings that you get that have a built-in frame that you drill. There's just something super nice about it. All right. So that is most of the diamond painting there. And I'll just, uh, I'll cover it back up and then do the other side and then I'll show you the legend and some of the drill field. And I will explain my thumb. Because you're probably wondering, why is that crazy woman wearing duct tape on her thumb? It's a new fashion statement instead of nail polish. No, it's not. Um, I'll tell you in a bit. Okay, so here we go. So the glue is very sticky. Um, these are different symbols than were on the um, square one. And they do have guide circles for all of the drills, which I'm not a big fan of guide circles, but you know, what the heck, it's a freebie. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, so there, well, let's, yeah, I just find that super, super busy too busy with all the guide circles, but there you go. There you go. All right, so let's take a look at the symbols. Let's 
So yeah, there's a better picture of the thumbnail. I don't like the symbols. I don't like, they're just, they're too busy. I'm gonna have to come up with names for all of these things. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be in a rush to do this diamond painting. It'll go into my travel diamond paintings um, file and uh, maybe I'll do it sometime later. Okay, so yeah, so that's the drill field. Oh, I just, oh man, look, I just find some of those symbols. What are you, like, what am I gonna call? Hold on. What am I gonna call that one in between the R and the F there? What the heck am I gonna call that? I have no idea. Anyway, I will, um, I'll figure it out when the time comes. All right, I'm gonna put you back in the cradle. I'm gonna bring you down. And we're going to do a quick inventory of the diamonds, okay? So let me lower this. Now there are a lot of diamonds. And as we've seen, there are a bunch that broke out of their cage. So I'm just going to get the tray. Oh, let's show you the kit first. There's a about an inch square piece of wax, a boat with a funnel, tweezers, a few little bags, and um, a single placer. Okay, so what I'm gonna need out of here is the drill tray. Oops and one of the bags because whichever bag broke open i'm just gonna put it in the in the plastic bag okay so we'll set that aside and there we go i thought there was another oh there it is okay all right so let's do this Oh, there's more than one bag that's broken open because there's multiple colors here. All right. Yeah, this is more than I would expect if it was just a case of um, diamonds getting picked up by static on uh, the plastic of other bags. So we'll just get these all off the bag and sort it all out. Okay, so I'm opening this one now because I have three more crystal paintings, that, like crystal rhinestone paintings that I want to open. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I got this done first. So, all right, let's pick all of these up. Uh, so what happened to my thumb? So I was putting together, I went shopping at Ikea on, I think it was, what, Thursday? I think it was Thursday that I went to Ikea. Uh, or, yeah, Thursday. And um, with my friend Sandy and his friend George. And, um, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff, all of it for diamond painting. So I'm going, like I've got it all piled up on the chair over here beside me. Um, and I'm gonna do a video of that. Um, once I finish opening all the diamond paintings. Um, because I want to show you guys what I was able to get at Ikea that I can use for diamond painting, either directly on the paintings or, you know, storage and stuff like that. Because, um, because everything I bought, I bought uh, either for storing my diamond paintings, for framing or hanging my diamond paintings, whatever. Okay, so there might be some more loose ones but I'll deal with those 
as I find them. Oh, and there's one down in there. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have diamond paintings all over my freaking house. Alright, it's on the floor now. Oh my goodness, there's a few of them on the floor. Yeah, okay, they're falling on the carpet. Alright, um, okay. So this has 37 colors, which is a lot of colors for a little diamond painting. Um, so there's going to be all kinds of switching up, which is fine. I, I like the switching up. All right, let's quickly do this inventory here. So this is 159. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 3809, I have one. Three eighteen, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm finding more loose ones. Uh, 3808, I have one. 3746, I have three. Now, I do like the way they label this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's gold iridescent print on these labels. So, uh, it's, it's quite easy to read. 1541. Thirty-eight, sixty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I did that. Okay, seven thirty-two. Nope, that's not the one that's broke. Oh, is that the one that's broken open? No, 30, 7.32, I got one, 3.10, I have one, 8.90, I have one, 7.99, I have one, Uh, 452, see now that's black print. I have one, 8231. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, they give me an extra one. Uh for seven forty-seven. Alright. I'm not gonna complain about getting an extra. No way. No way, Jose. Um, you know what? I think it's this one that's, yeah, it's this one here that's torn open. So uh, I'm going to deal with it. 3012. I have one. So let's. Okay. Now, I'm going to get trying to get these bags open. I find that if when they're closed and you can't open them, if you slide your fingers like this, that will open them. Okay. 
There we go. And there is another color that seems to have been opened. Um, it's a dark color, darkish, greenish, whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to put all of these in here. Yeah, I think it's the 413 because I've got a few loose ones of another color. You know what? I'm just going to stick them all in here and just call it quits. There we go. There's another one. Any more stragglers? No. Okay. And now just to get that sealed up. So that's the 3012. Yeah. And then I've got 469, 1, 930, yeah, 936, 1, 414, 4. Oh, they gave me, they gave me 4. I only need 3. Okay. That's fine. I need four fourteens for uh I don't know. Uh let's see, nine fifty-nine. I have one, two, three, four, five, eighty one, one, uh, thirty-three sixty-three, one, seven thirty-four, one. Uh, 369, 2, there's another loose one, uh, 550, I have 1, 931, I have 2, Okay, so these four 14s are ripping open. So I need another bag. I need another bag. And I'm just going to jam them in there. That's fine. Okay, I had to stop videoing for a little while because my friend Margaret called and invited me out for dinner tonight. It's Easter. We're going to go to Montana's. Uh, she had Easter dinner at her family's yesterday, and I had Easter dinner, like I said, I think I think in this video. I had Easter dinner with um, my friends. So this is, um, this is uh, our Easter dinner together. So 161, I've got two of them. I'm just going to get some tape and tape them together. And during the call, I kept finding other drills loose. So anyway. Right. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I haven't told you yet what happened to my finger. I won't. I, I, I won't forget, I mean. I will do it. I will do it. Uh, okay, so this is 3848, and I need one. Oh my goodness, this is super confetti. <laughs> Look at all the ones that I've got and twos. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, 166, 1, 210. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alrighty. 413. Oh, this was the other one that broke open. Uh, well, one of them might have broken open. Let's see. Because I did see some of this color loose. But, okay, these, these are not loose. 413, 2. Uh, 966. Is that 966? Yes, it is. 2. 
3742 3742 3747 I've got 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Yep Finally, I got 38, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick double check. But I have everything. I'm happy. I'm happy. So this is pastel dragonfly 30 by 40 round and uh, it's the second one so I'm going to call it number two since I did another one um, and it's all good. So okay now let me tell you about my thumb. So what you see here is a band-aid wrapped by duct tape and I wrapped it by duct tape with multiple levels of duct tape because what I was doing I'm going to take you out of the cradle oh first I'm going to show you these lovely look at those beautiful colors this is why I like this diamond painting so much the colors really are quite lovely okay so now I'm going to um, take you on a road trip as Ella says I'm just going to hold my hand up here so that you don't get uh, motion sick. Okay, so this is a cart that I bought at Ikea. It cost me $49.99 Canadian before tax. And it, um, so that would be, I don't know, like $35, $32 American. Um, and it's got four large drawers, 70 centimeters high got four large drawers. Uh, the drawers are included in the $49.99. I bought these two little tubs. They're 99 cents each and they just sort of clip on to the inside there. And this storage system, it's called Algot, doesn't actually have a top. And I wanted a top because I wanted to have an extra surface. So, I had this diamond painting. Uh, it's not a diamond painting, sorry. It's a print that I had mounted um, about, I don't know, 25 or 30 years ago. This is my favorite painting in the entire world. It's Tom Thompson's The Jack Pine. And uh, because now I'm doing diamond paintings and I want to use my wall space for diamond paintings, I figured the Jack Pine is not going to go back up on the wall. But I still love it and I wanted to put it out. So what I did was I screwed it onto the top of this um, because they do send you little uh, like a, a clip system that is meant to go on the back here to secure it to a wall because you can stack these. Anyway, I used the clip and screwed, um, screwed the painting onto the clip and so now I have a top that's not going to move for my container and it's pretty and it's my favorite painting and now it's out in plain sight whereas before it used to be stuck behind used to have it in the corner along with some other art that I haven't yet put up but anyway um, now it's out and about and so I'm very happy but right after I finished doing that I um, was getting up from the floor and on these rails there's um, like there's metal it's not sharp metal or anything like that but somehow I jammed my thumb into the metal and it split my it split my nail right down the middle like it was like I had taken a knife and just cut down my nail 
and it went into the quick and so I knew that that would be super super painful and so I just decided I'm going to pat it because you know if I bump this against anything it's gonna hurt like the dickens and so that's why I put the band-aid on and then I there's about I don't know three or four layers of duct tape over top and until the uh, nail grows out just a little bit I will um, I'll keep the duct tape on there now the other thing I could have done was crazy glued it but I was afraid that if the crazy glue got into the cut because I did you know cut into the uh, the quick um, it would hurt so I wanted to spare myself as much pain as possible this on my knuckle was a, a scrape I got doing something else the other day I can't remember what anyway it's pretty much healed now uh, yeah, so that's that's the thing. I've had a few days of of little accidents, but anyway, that's it. That's the story, and um, I'm done. So there we have it: the pastel dragonfly version two from the art back embroidery. No, art back sticking embroidery store on AliExpress. This cost me nothing because it was a replacement for a diamond painting that had really, 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 really bad drills. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And more important than that is if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, I do all of these videos for my subscribers and, uh, and I wanna bring you lots more. And when I see my subscriber numbers go up, that makes me want to make more videos for you. So if you like my videos, subscribe, okay? Tell your friends, get them to subscribe too. All right, take care everybody, bye-bye.